Snickers. This is what I get for not making three videos. Chocolate syrup in the hair and possible embarrassment for my dorm mates. You're welcome. Water seems to be sufficiently warm. Time to uncap the Hershey's for a little in your hand. And just loop it onto the hair. Mm. Yeah. That feels good. I know it's gonna give me a chocolatey smooth dresses. Mmm. Oh yeah. What's up? I don't think we have enough there. Let's just loop it on. Oh yeah. That cold liquidy feeling. Just what I like. I mean good for you in other ways. It has to be good for your hair, right? Thanks will be that, nerd writers. It looks like a crime scene in here from a black and white movie. Ugh, I feel like I'm in Tepco. Well, nerd writers, I think that's enough showery fun for today. Chocolate syrup and hair challenge. Punishment completed. Now I gotta clean this up and take a real shower because I have class in an hour. Space. Yeah, this is a. <laughs> the dates are a little misleading. Uh, 1896 to 2001 are just the dates he served as the editor. <laughs> And uh, he was launched into space. And he now, like, with the, the little sense, a lot of uh, information and sort of uh, missives from space, such as, uh, oh, uh, put more advertising in. Uh, I love that pop up window, things like that. So, you're, all, you're all savvy people, so you know about the Schneiderman uh, scale of journalistic integrity, uh, named after Duke Schneiderman. Uh, and with the, the runs from zero to, uh, to six, the six being the most, having the most journalistic integrity. As you can see, the onion has a perfect six. Uh, New York Times, uh, Washington Post, CNN, and the St. Cloud, Minnesota Times, uh, very low on that, uh, on that scale. Um, like at point two. Yeah, not even. Boy, I don't even know. You shouldn't even hammer it on the St. Cloud Times like that. I feel like that. You can see the data was provided by the U.S. Department of Integrity. So it's really legit. Uh, conspiracy theorist convinces Neil Armstrong moon landing was fate. And uh, here you have in at least one Bangladeshi. I think it was like two, but yeah, two Bangladeshi newspapers picked up on that, and at least they actually, they actually, somebody actually contacted them and said that's fake, and so they contacted us and said, uh, guys, that's fake. You should take it down. <laughs> well, which one is the fake newspaper? This nice one on the left, or the one with those squiggly lines. Who are you, writers? Tom and Ted, Cody, Hark. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no. May 14. Make any sense? But the the sound is ominous. <laughs> <laughs>